Welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful multi-purpose abaya, which can be styled in different forms. So right here, you can see it can be styled to the front, to the back and even to the side okay so if this is what you want to learn stay till the end so to start up this tutorial i'm going to make use of um, a satin fabric actually the right fabric is duchess or silk fabric for this to give it that beautiful flow but here i'm making use of my doll face satin fabric so here i have three and a half yards so this three and a half yards right now, I'm going to use it to sew the whole dress. If you're on a smaller size, you can use three yards for this. It's going to be very much enough. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to fold this fabric. So I'm going to fold it uh, to my hip circumference divide by two. So my hip circumference divided by 2, my hip is 46, divided by 2 is 23. So what I did is, out of that 3 yards, because I just did a little calculation of my hip circumference right now, divide by 2. If I have to place this on fold, I have 2.5 yards. So in other words, I cut out 1 yard for my sleeve out of the 3 yards, and then I used 2.5 yards for the body. So what I have here now is two and a half out of the three and a half yards I'm making use of. So from this length right to the other length, the measurement from here to the end of this is two and a half because I've already cut out one yard for my sleeve. So I'm going to place these two and a half yards into two equal parts. So I placed it into two equal parts now and I'm going to place it again in another fold. So that will give us four. One, two, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to arrange this fold right now. I'm going to arrange the four fold very well. Here I've arranged my fold, like I said, like I folded it, I've arranged it very well. So you have to make sure it's equal. Now, this is the center front, the folded part is center front and center back, while this is the side of the dress, the part that has um, only one fold. So the next thing we are going to do is to take the measurement of our hip circumference divide by, by two. So from this, that is how you determine your fold, your accurate fold. Okay, for me, I calculated mine. That's why I used two and a half for the bodies. But for you, I will advise you fold before you cut out. So I place my tape on the center front. And I measured my hip is 46 divided by 2 is 23. Can you see that? It's 23. So that is how I got my full fold. So after getting your actual fold with your hip divided by 2, the first thing I'm going to do is to create my border line. So I'll come over to the upper part of the dress. And I'm going to rule a border line. So after ruling this border line, from this border line, I'm going to take the measurement of my vertical lines. So the vertical lines we need for this particular dress is the chest line. My chest line is 9 inches. I'm going to mark the 9 inches. After marking out my chest line, I'm marking my waist at 17, my hip at 29. And the full length of this gown, I'm using the full length of the satin fabric. 
So this is my shoulder line. So after marking all my vertical measurements, the bust, the waist, and the hip, so I went ahead to impute my horizontal measurement. So from the shoulder line, I'm going to place my shoulder divide by two, and I'll add half an inch to it. So my shoulder divide by two is seven and a half plus half an inch will give me eight inches. And the neckline I'm using here is four inches. So I'll come down by one inch for my shoulder drop. And I'm going to connect my shoulder drop. I'll connect my shoulder drop. So after marking the shoulder drop from that point, I'm going to pick the measurement of what I have on the shoulder, which is 8 inches. I'll bring it to the bust and mark 8 inches. So that will help me to rule a straight line for my armhole. Then I'm going to find the midpoint for my armhole. So midpoint of what I have here is 4 inches. I'm going to go in from that point by half an inch. That is for the back armhole. I'm going to construct the back armhole first. So I'll place my ruler this way. And then I'm going to measure my circumference, my bust circumference on the chest line. So my bust is 40 divided by 4 is 4, is 10. My bust is 40 divided by 4 is 10. I will mark the 10. Then I'm going to add 2 inches for my allowance. So here I'm going to connect what I have on the half an inch to my bust divided by 4, which I got as at 10 inches before my allowance. So I'll just go ahead and use my pattern ruler to create the back holes. So because we have them um, both front and back, we know we folded the fabric into four. We have both back and uh, front right here. I'll come back here and I'm going to measure the front armhole at three quarter, which is 0 0.775. So I'll simply go ahead from there and connect to the tip of the shoulder and I'll come back with my curve ruler on that 0 0.75 or 3 quarter and I'm going to create the armhole for the front. So after creating the armholes. I will go over to create the neck line. So the neck line I have here is 4 inches as the width. But since we have back and front, the back neck line is going to be cut at 1 inch because it's a high neck. And the front neck line, I'm going to cut it at four and a half inches. So by the time I sew it, I'll have it at five inches. So I'll just go ahead and connect the two necklines. So it's actually a round neckline. So I'll connect the two and then I'll go ahead and connect the one inch. After marking the neckline, the next thing we'll do right now is to take the measurement of our waist circumference. So my waist circumference from the center front divide by four is nine and a half. I'll mark the nine and a half. And I'm going to add two inches for my allowance. Then on my hip, my hip circumference is divide by four is 11 and a half. And I'll add two inches to it. So on the hip line right now, what I have in total is 13 and a half. 
So I'll take it to the hem and I'm going to mark the same 13 and half. So at that point, I'm going to mark a straight line from the hem connecting the hip. So I'm going to connect it straight to the hip. So once I get to the waist, I'm going to connect what I have, the two inches to the waist, placing my curve ruler this way to the hip, from the waist to the hip. And then I will connect my bust area from the two inches I added for my allowance. So these two inches include the ease and the sewing. The sewing allowance here is one inch. The ease is one inch. So after connecting this, the main purpose of this tutorial is going to be on the waistline. So I'm going to show you how to make this wrap dress. So from this waistline, I'm going to extend my line. So I will extend my line from here to this point. So after extending this line to the end of it, just simply go ahead and place your tape right here. Whatever you have on the waistline, including the allowance, place it from this place to this place, okay? So that would be the measurement. So because I calculated it, so I have exactly what I have on the waistline, on the extension. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do now is to, from this um, point, I'm going to come down by one and a half. From here, from this line, you come down by one and a half and make your mark. And from here, you go up by one and a half and make your mark. From the bust area, from the armhole, you come down by two inches. Then you are going to place your curve ruler this way to connect the line. From the two inches down the armhole, you connect it to the one and a half above the waist line. So after connecting that, I'll come in by one inch from here. This is where we are going to attach the belt. So I'll come in by one inch and I'm going to mark one inch downwards. From that point, I'm going to mark one inch till I get to the end of the dress. So the next thing we are going to do is to add our seam allowance on the shoulder line. So on the shoulder line, I will simply add half an inch. You just add half an inch on the shoulder. Before you cut, make sure everything is aligning well, okay? So I'll come over from the hem where I added my, uh, where I marked the one one inch. So I'm going to cut right now. So I'm cutting right on the line. So once I get here, I'm going to cut the one inch I came in with. Then I'll continue my cutting. So 
So I'm going to cut the outer armhole first because that is the back armhole. So for this part, we are cutting back first. So I'll go to my seam allowance. Then I'm going to cut my neckline for the back as well. So you can see I cut only the back. So now I'm going to raise what I have on the inside and remove my back. So I'll remove my back. Okay. Then we are going to set this one aside. Okay. When we get to the front, we are going to cut the neckline. We'll cut the neckline and cut the armhole. So, but now I want us to work on the back first. So, for the back, this is the back shoulder line. So, make sure you place it equally. And then we are going to add a slit at this point. So, for that slit, I'm going to measure the length of my slit right now. So my slit measurements from the neckline, I'm going to slit at 7 inches. So I'll just create that mark. And then I'm going to open up my slits to the 7 inches at the center back. We are going to create a facing for the slit. So my facing length is 10 inches. My facing length is 10 inches and the width is 4 inches. So I'll simply go ahead and fold my facing into two equal parts. So I'm going to secure it with my pin. Then I will also fold my the slit parts again. Then I will align it. I will align the line of my slit like this on the center of the slit itself. So just push it in a little. I just want to get the neckline. That's all. So you need to align it to create the same neckline so I'll just go ahead and get the curve on the neckline so after that just go ahead and mark your slits at the same 7 inches so from the upper part I just shaped now I'll mark 7 inches and open up my slits So this is the split right now. So I've already sewn the bias which I used for my loop. So you can see how I I crossed it. And I step down by half an inch and stitch on it. So that is the first thing you do. First secure it with your stitch. Then you come with your facing, this is right side, you lay it to the right side. So then you can now align and secure with your pin. So I'm going to secure it with my pin this way. Because I'm going to sew 0 0.5 inch right on top of my pin. So I'll make sure I secure it to the end. Then go over to the machine and stitch at 0 0.5. Right now I've sewn my slits and I've taken off my pin. So I'll make a little more notch to it. I'm going to fold it in with my hemming gum or weave it. 
so i'm done weaving it right now so it gives it a better finish when you weave so the next thing i'm going to do is to flip all the seams to the part of the face seam so it relaxes and goes in well by the time i place my hemming gum under it and iron it sticks perfectly for me so i'm going to top stitch right now flip all the seams to the face seam top stitch very close place my hemming gum right now i've laid my hemming gum and i've top stitch okay so i gave it a good pre press so now i'm going to cut out the neckline for the front both the neckline depth and the armhole depth as well so i'm going to match my back and front together to stitch the seam line at 0.5 i've done that and i'm going to use my bias to finish up the neckline all around so right now i'm done with my bias so i've finished up the neckline very nicely so the next thing we are going to do is to stitch the belt so for the belt i've already cut out two pieces of my belt so my belt is two pieces so the length of my belt is 40, 42 inches and the width of my belt is five inches so i have two belts which i'm going to sew to the sides right now so i'll go over to the machine now i'm going to sew my belt i'll close up here and sew to the end and then open up leave this part open to turn it my belt is ready right now i actually gave it a good press so now I'm going to stitch the size of this dress. So I want you to watch how I'm going to stitch it. So you first of all secure it with your pin. And then I'm going to mark out the points where I'm going to stitch at 0 0.5. So just follow the chalk line for your stitching. So next I will insert my belt into the dress to that hole as you can see. Then I will stop stitch or stitch by half an inch as well so i'll follow the stitching line now to sew so here i've sewn it as you can see we want to jump into the sleeve right now so for the sleeve length is 26 inches just measure 26 inches my actual sleeve is actually 23 but add three inches to it so now i'm going to measure my sleeve cap height at 4.5 then i'll measure my chest line at three inches for the puff then i'm going to rule my line across of course you know how to make your sleeve that is exactly what i'm making so i'll just go up by 0 0.5 and cover my back sleeve and cover my front sleeve as you can see so now i'm going to take the measurement of what i have to my sleeve hem line so if you want it straight like this you can but i want mine to be slanted a little so i will have that puff on the hem line so i'm cutting out the back of the sleeve i'll open it up to cut out the front sleeve okay then make sure you also make your notches so i'll place so here i've already cut out the second sleeve so i place it right side to right side to cut so i cut everything accordingly so i still have this part as the back so make sure you indicate the back and the front at all times. Or you can simply make a notch. I love to make notches like this. So when sewing it, I'll just use the notch. So after that, I will, I will use this to show you what to do next. So I'll just go ahead and sew my elastic casing. So I'll go to my machine now. I'll fold in the first fold and fold in 0 0.5 inch out of stitch. I have my elastic. I have my safety pin. So I'm going to use my safety pin to insert my elastic and stitch it at each end. So let me do that. My elastic is um, 10 inches. Please don't stretch it when taking your measurement. It's 10 inches. So the 10 inches, I have two of them for the two sleeves. So now I've inserted my elastic with my safety pin. So right here, I made a little gathers on top of the sleeve to give it that puff effect. 
So I'm going to stitch the size of this sleeve right now and attach it to the dress. So I'll simply turn the dress and insert my sleeve inside. Just your normal sewing sleeve. So I'm going to sew my button and we are done with this tutorial. I have um, sewn my sleeve as you can see right here and this is it. So that is how we we'll come to the end of this tutorial. So you can see the belt part of it from the armhole it came up to this part so we can style this in different ways and wear it to any occasion so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again i believe this class was helpful to you if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends Drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.